How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome back to another Drag Tune video. This is your boy Mars. Today, got for you guys the Pontiac in the background, the GTO Dodge here. Judge, actually, Judge. Uh, really cool looking vehicle. Um, could get a lot of engine swaps you can put into this thing. So I'm gonna give you guys two engines. One's gonna have a thousand. The other one's gonna have around 1,500 horsepower. So like always, everybody new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and let's get right to it. As you guys see, how to get 40 points to get this car. The Judge in the background. It's a uh, Pontiac 69. Let's go over here to the upgrades. We're gonna start off with a 6.2 liter V8. The original engine gives you like 800 horsepower, but I mean, everybody kind of likes it to have about 1,000 horsepower. So 6.2 liter V8 is the engine to put. As you see, 1,009 horsepower without the in oil and cooling. You get 26 on that weight. So we're going to start off with that. Leave it real-wheel drive and put in the twin turbos. Very easy and simple. Let's go over here. We're going to pretty much put everything race, guys. So zooming right through this as you guys see all of the parts are going to be raised the only thing you're not going to put race is that oil and cooling just like that let's leave that stock no need for the extra eight horsepower gain a lot of weight no need for it put that on there and let's go right to the brakes make sure to put um, a rally on the suspension it's the best suspension to put soft suspension put the rally on there and uh, weight reduction as you guys see no roll cage needed and the anti-roll bars there are going to be needed besides that drivetrain everything is just pretty much race nothing uh different on here and let's go right to the tires make sure to put the correct drag tires it's all the way here in the bottom here next to these white walls and stuff got the correct drag tires on there no width in the front and we got nice 345s with the extra large tires in the background really cool to get that these rear tire performance size the tires go from that to that which is really, really, really cool to see. Uh, just gives it that proper drag look that we needed. All we need to do is get the front ones to be skinny, uh, skinnier than what they are. And that would be pretty awesome as well. So make sure to put any wheels you guys want that are super light. Got the hose shots on there. Can't go wrong with some hose shots. If you guys want to put the spacers, I did do it in the back just to look a little bit more aggressive if you guys see. Um, and leave the size alone. We got 14s and 14s, so leave that alone. Um, last final thing is the hood. Make sure to put the hood on there to reduce some weight with the hood. As you guys see, just putting the hood on it reduces some weight, and it doesn't look that bad. And that is it with the build right to the tune, guys. You got 38 in the front, 15 in the rear. And then we got 220 final drive. First gear is 510. Second gear is 320. Third gear is 230, 170, 130, and 110. Zero everything out in uh, 6 or 7.9 or 7. You know, it's, it doesn't really make a difference. And do 65 and 65. So often the front stiff in the rear. So initially that, you know, back end is stiff enough that it does the front end, um, you know, transfer all the back. And then it's pretty good there. What are the power? Sticks, hooks, and goes out pretty nice <laughs> make sure the vehicles raised all the way up to the sky we got equal distribution with a rebound and buff sniffness at uh, 1771 nothing with this or this and a hundred and a hundred so let's bring it out for a nice little spin here with the Pontiac GTO judge in the background left it alone with original paint job it's like an orange paint job and we're over here at Casa uh, so let's get out so let's get out got those pops on there which is kind of crazy to hear on this older muscle car finish the road here because it's uh, something I need to do take a look at the inside super old school of course 69 one of the best years they made the the best amount of muscle cars a lot of the best ones came out in 69 from what I've seen let's fast travel guys really quickly over here to the quarter mile and the half a mile um, of course if it's a quarter mile car you guys can use it in a half a mile if you guys want to but the quarter mile mainly is right over here where this pole is at a lot of people drag race here because it's a lot grippier than some of the other areas make sure to get the tires hot you can do reverse burnout like very simple and easy and that's how you get those tires to be hot and then to launch this car is very simple. It's e-brake, gas, and clutch. 
So if you press the e-brake and gas, your RPM needle is going to shoot up. When your needle shoots up, then you press down the clutch. So, boom, just like that. You can tap on it, get a little bit higher. We got 22 pounds of boost. Torque is 628. All I got to do is let go of the clutch and the e-brake. And you get a nice subtle wheelie there in the beginning. And that's it. Finishing off there, fourth gear at, boom, 163. I believe you can do like a 164 and a good pass. So, you know, it's it, it should do better. You, everybody wants it to at least do like 168, 169. Should do better, but it is what it is. The Forza, Forza logic for you. Um, but yeah, that's what we got there. Traps 168. Let's go and uh, show you guys the other engine, which is going to be that 1500 horsepower. Really nice, cool engine there. Um, it's another V8 engine. Let's go right over here. And let's load up the other tune which is that V8, yeah, 1500 horsepower. Let's load that, install it. Um, this one's easy, this one's just, to launch it, it's just e-brake and gas, nothing crazy to do with it. Um, the build is exactly the same. Once you put in that engine, uh, there is no additional performance parts or anything like that. But when it comes to the suspension and everything, it's all exactly the same, guys. The same wheels, same differentials same you know all that, all that good stuff uh, so it's the drivetrain all that good stuff it's all the same that's why I'm just zooming right to it so that you guys can see it's all pretty much the same in, in the hood there but let's go right to the tune that's what things change just a little bit not with the tire pressure but only with the gearing we got 38 in the front 15 in the rear and here's the gearing that changes a lot because of the of course amount of power you're getting off the line we got 220, 380, 250, 190, 150, 120. And that is it. Then we got zero everything out in uh, 7 or 6.9 and a 65, 65. Then we got soft in the front, stiff in the rear at 380. You guys can do 380, that's fine. And raise all the way up to the sky. And then we got 1771. Nothing with this or this. And 100 and 100. So pretty much pretty easy there it was all about the gearing with it um, didn't want to make the first gear either too short or too long because if this starts spinning it will keep continue to spin so let's um, get the tires hot really quickly guys always got to get your tires hot especially when you bring out a car the first time um, it does help out it does grip more and it does it does do its thing so there we go let's get these tires hot love the way the tire setup looks with the bigger back tire all you got to do is e-brake and gas just like you guys see we got 22 pounds of boost 1100 on that torque and if it spins remember give it another shot there do another one uh, the key is not for it to spin if it does keep spinning make sure to go towards uh, speed on that first gear see if I can get a good pass here all you have to do is let go of the e-brake there you go and then just transition those gears very easy and smoothly. And then it does, I think, like, what is it? Does 205? Yeah, there we go. It's a really, really nice pass there. 205 with 1500 horsepower. Listen to this engine. Engine sounds really, really nice. E-brake gas, let go of the e-brake. If, if you feel it spinning, you can let go of the gas. And like that, hit the gas again and it should grip again. But as you guys see, all the gears are pretty, pretty nice. Close back to back, go right back to 7,000 RPMs. Here are all my settings, guys. Make sure to be standard on steering wheel if you guys are not. If you guys are in simulation, you will spin. Make sure to be standard. It is a thing. Um, it does help out tremendously from the launch. Manual clutch is the best and only way to go. So make sure to be on that as well. So pretty much just copy my settings. And yeah, that sums up the video, man. Hopefully you guys got this car to get it. Remember, it is 40 points here to get the car. And then, uh, yeah, really nice, cool car. And that sums up the video. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe, enjoy. See you guys around with another Dragton video. Peace out, everybody. Bye-bye now.